So we've established them about a month quicker than what we did last, last year. We've had perfect conditions at the start of this week with uh, almost summer conditions. And then as we've got towards the end of the week, we're back into winter conditions. But hey ho, they're in, they went into a really, really good seed bed and uh, well ruled and then it's had a little bit of moisture on it. The way we've done them this year is we've done them slightly different. As I mentioned at the end of last year, we established cover crops in this field because as part of our sustainable farming uh, and trying to reduce nitrogen usage on these on, on all the crops we're growing, which is very topical given the cost of it at the minute, we actually put this cover crop in to try and help soil structure, soil biology, everything about what we're trying to do to try and improve the fertility in the soil so that when we, we don't have to have the reliance on nitrogen top-ups. So we did some soil analysis on it and we've done various tests on it and monitored the cover crops through the winter. We then killed the cover crops off, which you've got to do because you've got to get rid of that trash. And then the field was cultivated, which was a saving again on the normal plough and cultivate system. So it was cultivated with a mixy drill, mixy, mixy press, um, thing, which incorporated all the trash down below where we are with the seeding. And then on Monday, we drilled the trials. We've got 18 varieties in again. Um, ranging from distilling, brewing, general purpose, across across the board with some of the old favourites and some of the new ones coming through as well. And there's quite a selection to go at this year. So they were drilled, like I say, into pretty pretty good conditions on Monday. And uh, soil temperatures at the minute aren't brilliant. They're only about five, five and a half degrees. And you can see there, we've got the seed drilled to about four centimetre depth, which is perfect. It'll pick up this moisture with the cold that's going on at the minute, it's actually quite a good thing that it's still tucked underneath there because we don't really want it coming through and getting a headache with these sort of cold prevailing winds that we've got at the minute. But I think a bit of warmth under these things and they'll, they'll germinate fairly quickly and move on because the moisture's there now, the heat's, heat will obviously come and hopefully in a couple of weeks time we'll see that. When we put them into the, when we drilled them, we put, like I mentioned, we're looking to reduce the nitrogen. So we've only actually put 70 kilograms of nitrogen at this this year which is a lot less than what we'd normally be using. So we're reliant on that nitrogen having come from our cover crops and improving our soil biology. So that was applied more or less at the, at the same time as drilling. And then we've actually put a pre-emergence spray on to try and reduce any herbs or any weeds coming through because this field being in spring barley for quite a long time has quite a weed burden of annual meadowgrass in particular. So we've actually put a pre-emergence spray on and we may not need to do any more top-ups. Hopefully we're hoping that we won't need to do any more top-ups on it. So I think, you know, a couple of weeks time, we'll come back again and we'll maybe start and say the earliest ones starting to grow up. We'll see soil temperatures will have improved and uh, we'll maybe get a judgment on where we're going to fare for this season.